but, uh, but this guy that I was working with it on, my co-author, he used a big shot in this field, and he had seen this paper and many other papers like it, and he quickly sketches out this idea for a reduction, which to me just seemed like, you know, mana from heaven. Like, whoa, how'd you think of that? And then I found this paper later, and I figured out how he thought of that. But, but our, our things, you know, have two separate stuff going on, because people don't alternate from the same spot. You have to alternate from your own spot. But it's more or less the same idea. But just to give my, my co-author a lot of credit, because he was a very, very clever man, and he still is, um, notice something really special about this graph. Are there cycles in this graph or not? Definitely cycles, right? You start here, you go back. In fact, it's a fundamental feature of this reduction to have cycles. Everyone agree? If you try to do this reduction without cycles, you get no place. The whole idea is that you block things off on the way down, and when you try to come back, you get stuck. But it would be really interesting to know whether this problem, maybe it's easy if there are no cycles. Maybe it's only piece space complete when there's cycles. Is there a way to do this reduction without the cycles? So we thought about this, and it turns out that at least, not in this problem, I don't think, but in our problem and the other problem, our problem is actually a little harder. You can take an NP complete problem and reduce it to this problem and get a graph that's just like this, but it's got no cycles in it. And the game is a win for player one if there's a vertex cover for the graph. And the game is a win for player two if there's no vertex cover for the graph we started with. So we made a reduction from vertex cover to this problem. And that reduction has no cycles in it. So that's a really cool result. In other words, this game is hard even without cycles, or the ver variation that I thought of when when you have two people playing on their own. That game is hard even with no cycles in the graph. The only thing that makes the game easy is when, when it's a tree, when there's not even an underlying cycle. But if there's cycles in the graph, that's not the hard part. It's hard even when there's no cycles. The thing was, we couldn't show it was p-space complete. We didn't make that reduction from QBF. We made that reduction from vertex cover. We made that reduction from something that was sitting in NP. And this problem is probably way out here. So it's not as good and not perfect, but we showed that the problem when you have no cycles is NP hard. Everything in NP reduces to it, but we don't know that it happens to be an NP. That's unknown. All right, so there's an example of an NP hard reduction that's not as good as a P-space complete reduction, but still good because the P-space complete reductions have these more general graphs, and at least the NP hard reduction had a more specific constrained graph. So it's still an interesting idea. And that reduction is hard to understand. That's not as easy as this. And if you look at this paper that I have you know, there and you take a glance at it, there's this funny picture. It looks like a cigar with all sorts of, um, it explains it, but it's a little tricky. All right, so I want you to see this reduction and get a good understanding of it. This is very typical of the reductions that come p-space complete. We're not going to do too many more of these. But we are going to do some, in homework, I'm going to ask you to do one NP complete reduction and one P-space complete reduction.